welcome you to College Station and Davis Diamond, and this is the SEC's opening weekend, and a great way to get it started here with a matchup of two teams that are nationally ranked, both off to fantastic starts. We'll hit the reset button tonight. They're both 0-0. SEC play starts right now, and it's a first pitch swinging ground ball off the bat of Kiana Jones. Emily Kennedy back to work, and that's low, so a walk after an error. Two aboard for South Carolina. Third in the SEC in stolen bases coming into conference play. And the bunt is laid down. Kennedy will bare hand and flip to Trinity Cannon at first base. One out, but a couple of Gamecocks in scoring position in the top of the first. Textbook softball, that's what Carolina's all about. They play Leno at the plate. That's caught, and that might be a double play, and that's one way to get out of a bases loaded jam. Wiggins caught the line drive just above the turf. Got to use our strengths. That's a swing and a miss. They'll complete the out by throwing to first base. Elena Vodder now 35 strikeouts on the year against just the six walks. All click for them, and it one through nine production and explosive. I would categorize them as an explosive offense, absolutely. Call strike three, and Jazz Hill is a strikeout looking fodder. Slower than bring it up, stretch their eyes a little bit. Cannon to left field. It will not fall. Diving catch by Kiana Jones. A&M three up, three down in the first. Yeah, still early in the game, figuring out those zones for both pitchers. Vodder more of a down ball pitcher. Kennedy can throw down ball, but she likes to stick to that rise, to that curve, but. By Emily Kennedy. And that's into right field over Ryland Wiggins, off the bat of Carly Shelton. And just like Carolina started the first inning. It's just acceptable, right? right. <laughs> and if you want to be elite, you get it done the first try. That just missed the corner. And with another walk, bases are loaded now with nobody out. Swing and a miss and got her. So there's one down as she tries to work out of the gym. After base is loaded, nobody out. She got a K and now has Jones down in the count, 0-2. Swing and a miss, and she's an out away now from getting out. But Kennedy will have to get through Blampede to get out of the inning. A 400 hitter up the middle and touching second base is Ryland Wiggins. And for two straight innings, didn't necessarily mean this was your final year. So Julia Cottrell earns a walk after ripping one foul deep over the wall, while sending Keeley Williams to the plate. Back up the middle, backhanded, and a flip with the glove, and a nicely turned double play. Member of her immediate family that has played collegiate baseball slash softball. Her parents both played at Charlotte. She's fallen in the footsteps. Yeah. And after the double play, Allie Enright will ground out to Anaya Black. So continue, and we will. Another full count pitch. That's a call, strike three. Emily Kennedy gets the leadoff hitter with a K. They let Emily Kennedy off the hook, and is Kennedy just getting better and better as we go on? There's another strikeout, and you're starting to wonder if Carolina maybe didn't cash in. Nobody out. She went strikeout, strikeout, and ground ball. And an off speed that fooled Leno, and Kennedy is starting to do some work. Minimum. So Wiggins hitting seventh is up to start this frame. Ripped one off the third baseman, Denver Bryant. She recovers and throws out Wiggins. Now Wiggins is... Hard cut, but a swing and a miss. Yeah. 
Carly Shelton will make the play. So still through three innings, Elena Vauder has not allowed an Aggie hit. Each of the first two innings off Kennedy. But then Kennedy has started to dominate since, and you're wondering if Carolina's best shots at it tonight have already gone by the board. Side after uh, all the strikeouts and then their double play on top of that, now they just need to see some hits with it. Kennedy's strikeouts tonight. She struck out swinging in the second inning. That's opposite field. That's a base hit. Both of the Gamecocks to get hits in this inning. Lefties that went opposite field. So she is 0 for 2. Chopped, and that's at Kennedy Powell, and she'll make the easy play, touch third base, and that will end the inning. Yeah, Vodder challenging Wooley on the inside half. Chopped and backing up is Brooke Blankenship, and which she will make the play in time. Nationally. That is ripped, that's a fair ball. Down the line, Jazz Hill. We'll get the Aggies' first hit of the night as she rips a double. So, yes, for the first time, opportunity knocks for AM and Trinity Cannon lost the bat, but looped that over Bryant's head. Hill will stop at second base. Cannon is going, excuse me, Hill will stop at third base. Cannon is going to second. And, the and then after that, you've got Keely Williams. Not as much pop, more of a, a contact hitter, but. Coach Ford calls her the silent assassin. Well, she is loaded one out, and it was Williams who bounced into the double play earlier. Ground ball at first. There's one out. Not in time to get Williams, but there are two down, still with the bases loaded. Rich. That is at the shortstop, Blankenship, and Carolina returns the favor. They will strand the bases loaded with Aggies. Especially when you're making double plays in the first inning. I'd feel comfortable. That's toward the gap in right center. That will land and hit the wall. Blampede has a double. So South Carolina threatens again as they look to be the first team to score in this one. Cannon will take that herself, step on first base. Somewhat of a productive at bat, though. It puts Blampede at third with less than two outs. It's just as good as a bunt. Backing up a little bit, knowing they're going to come in. Just like that for the strikeout. Freezes her. But again, you have to find the patterns. Kennedy, every single at bat, has drilled black. Leno hitting 167 on the season. Tonight, she's making her ninth start. Kennedy went off speed to strike her out. She's dialed up nine Ks, and she'll strand another Gamecock and score. And a one-two pitch. Bryant will throw out Wiggins, one out. Now yeah, Wiggins and Bryant having a little competition. Year. Might have just gotten her sixth hit, and that's going to go to the wall after the diving effort by Blampede. Can't quite get there. Big double delivered by Average hovering right around 300. She's at 298. Almost got through, but a diving effort by Carly Shelton, who has been terrific tonight. And the 1 0. From Fodder, here it is. Bouncing ball and bounced out of the glove of Aliyah Black, and the Aggies will grab the lead. Four Cummings. But the Aggies get the first run of the game. And now hung up between first and second base trying to get there was Woolley, and she's thrown out. But the Aggies will grab the lead, one to nothing. Trisha Ford had the exact same thought. She said, Emily Kennedy is a left-handed power pitcher that throws 70 miles an hour and with some break. You're going to be an All-American one day. And 
in six in scoring position. When it has counted, Emily Kennedy and the Aggie defense have delivered. And now two quick outs in the top of the sixth inning. Keeping it rolling, you've got to have some confidence. That's 100 pitches for her now after a grueling, taxing first two innings. She has really started to get on top of Carolina now. Carolina down just to run right now. Right field backing up over her head, one hopping the wall. Jazz Hill, a double to start the Aggie half of the six. Momentum going for the Aggies yet again. So now it's four hits for AM, all of them still doubles. Trinity Cannon does her job. Thing. If you're thinking, oh, I just have to score her, you're not giving yourself a task, right? But now we see the experience of Julia Cottrell knowing that in the game, it's so easy when you're not on the field to kind of forget. Up the middle. That will get one run home. Maya Perez, the pinch hitter, brings in Jazz Hill. Insurance for AM and a two to nothing lead. Base. It's going to be a tough play. Not going to get in right. The ball got away, and Sav Price will score. More insurance for the Aggies. Two home in the bottom of the six. Three to nothing AM. It doesn't have to be this double in the gap. You just have to make the other team make a play. She hits this deep in the 5 6 hole. Brooke Blankenship can do a lot of things, but this is a, such a long throw with Allie Enright's speed, not able to get there. But it's the errant throw, the missed catch at first base that really kind of puts it a nail in the coffin. That's deep to right field, just shy of the track off the bat of Ryland Wiggins. Carly Henderson will make the catch, but the 18 and two, as you see, both nationally ranked. But it's all reset button tonight. Everybody 0 and 0 in the SEC. Carolina not going silently. By Enright out there, could have easily been a triple. Foul territory off the bat of Kiana Jones. Julia Cottrell has it, one out. To get my pitch to do what I need it to do. That is at Coco Woolley, two down, a and and out away from grabbing a victory. In the air, left field, Eshte moving toward the line. That is the game. Texas A&M gets the all-important win on the SEC's opening night behind the sixth shutout of the year by Emily Kennedy, those six, Tori, lead the nation. Emily Kennedy shows you tonight why she's one of the top pitchers in.